Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to be showing you basically how to install the best GPU drivers for your graphics card. So this might depend on what GPU you have, but I'm going to be showing you NVIDIA and AMD GPUs and the drivers that should be the best for both of these. So let's get right into it. So basically NVIDIA is really, 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 really simple. Don't overcomplicate this. The best driver for NVIDIA is the latest driver. All right, so this might contradict some of the things I've said in the past. This might contradict some other people's opinions. This might contradict basically your whole thought of NVIDIA drivers in the first place. But the reason for this is being there's barely any difference between NVIDIA drivers, like how it used to be back in the day. And now usually the latest drivers are way more optimized and have less issues than older drivers. So basically you just put in your GPU, I put in a 4090 and you just download the latest one. Now you don't want to do it just through here and you want to use actually NV clean install and this is basically a tool where you download a stripped down deep loaded nvidia driver so basically you could download this and once you download it, you just pick the server that's closest to you and then you just open it up. And then basically you could pick drivers manually. You could use drivers on the disk or you could just install the drivers itself. But basically what this does is, for example, I'm gonna use a driver on the disk. So as you can see, these are all the components in the actual NVIDIA driver. And as you can see, a lot of these are most likely useless for you or there's no benefit to installing them. So you could click on each one and figure out what this does and basically what it needs. So for this one, it's packed provides audio recording capability for shadow play and all that stuff some of these you don't actually need you can just install geforce experience itself and it will download the things that you need from here but these you obviously don't want any of these and so you might want this just because of game filters but i wouldn't really recommend using game filters because they drop your fps dramatically unless you have a 4090 which for that it doesn't really matter so you press next and it will start decompressing the file or downloading it all right so once you've basically installed the driver and just picked stuff that you need or on checked everything that you need from here this is really cool you could disable some of the things that are within the video driver itself so you could disable telemetry and advertising you click unintended express installation you could click perform clean installation which basically uninstalls the current driver that you have and reinstalls it with the driver that you just picked disable Ansel. Ansel is basically just useless unless you're using game filters or like taking screenshots in game so don't disable it if you do that and don't uncheck it in the previous screen in NV clean install and you could also check disable multi-plane overlay show expert tweaks this is you could disable driver telemetry and you could disable the hd audio device sleep timer you could disable hdcp which is basically high definition copyright protection something like that it's basically useless and increases input lag if this is enabled so if you want to have less input lag you could disable it and then when it, right here where it says rebuild digital signature you want to check both of these just so it actually everything working perfectly fine because the stuff that, that we checked over here does like mess up with digital signature of the nvidia driver so you, you press next it will start applying like all the settings and for me I already have a driver installed so I'm not gonna be doing this but basically you press next and press install and it will start installing the NVIDIA driver that you just picked and you deep loaded so after that's done now you're basically done you're based on the best driver always use latest if you're installing a new GPU if you're changing your GPU if you're reinstalling Windows just any of those if you have a newer game that you need to play again latest drivers but there are some games that provide basically specific drivers just for the game so call of duty might have some but call of duty honestly latest drivers are pretty much good to go for that and yeah you don't need to update the driver every single time a new update comes out only update it if there's a new game that came out that has better performance with that driver or it has fixed bugs or things of that nature so to figure out what bugs they actually fix you can literally just go to this website and look at the driver and just look at fixed gaming bugs and fixed general bugs so as you see the elgato wavelength and needs this driver because it had potential audio issues with NVIDIA broadcast and look dead space stuff like this basically is really helpful this is why I say install latest drivers older drivers there's not really a point to installing them unless you're getting dramatically more FPS in one of them which again there's not really a difference between drivers anymore that much but yeah for AMD it's kind of the same thing so I'm gonna be checking the 6900 XT drivers but for AMD there are optional drivers and there's recommended drivers I recommend just installing the recommended drivers 
unless the optional driver for whatever reason has a feature that dramatically improves FPS and you've done research on it and people are saying that it's running good there's not that much issues on your specific GPU. The issue with optional drivers is you might get weird bugs with your current GPU or the GPU that you have doesn't really work that well with optional drivers they haven't really tested it so that's why I say run recommended drivers 90% of the time but 10% of the time you might get better performance with optional drivers just because they have released some certain features that improve FPS like for example they had improved DX11, DX10, DX9 performance in a single driver an optional driver but not in the recommended one so that's like an example of where installing the optional driver will definitely help but yeah so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you learned something today hopefully I basically blurred out all the rubbish that you've heard online and helped you come to the conclusion that GPU drivers are there's not really best ones there's not a golden GPU driver for either GPUs there's only like the latest and there's only like ones that perform slightly better for your PC and there's ones that perform slightly worse so again just use the latest drivers don't really overstress this and don't listen to people online about this there's gonna be a lot of people online that try to convince you to use this driver use that driver it's a waste of time and they're wasting their time just telling you to do so but there are people that show tests for this but again this honestly just depends on your PC every PC is different I don't care if you have the same specs same CPU and same GPU there's gonna be a difference because you have other parts that are different different performance on both specs so that's pretty much it for everything here if you want a full PC optimization service where I basically do everything for you I reinstall your Windows to a better version of Windows that is debloated and still has Microsoft Store support and you're still able to do everything normally like a normal Windows but it's more tuned towards gaming then book in the description below Zilli Diest on me book either my advanced or my ultimate PC optimization service that's where I have this customized OS called Zilli OS and basically once I install this we go even deeper with installing GPU drivers installing game launchers optimizing your game launchers so they don't take up extra memory and they don't take up resources in the background while you're playing your games optimizing your BIOS completely overclocking your GPU if you want to do that that is an optional add-on to all of my services fully overhauling your motherboard updating their BIOS completely optimizing it and optimizing its secret settings but yeah that's just a glimpse of what I do if you want to learn more just, just visit the link in the description silly.as.me and hopefully I talk to you very soon after you've booked but yeah follow me on Twitter if you want exclusive updates to basically my services or my YouTube videos or any of that source for just information that I don't really put out on any other social media except Twitter follow that link in the description and subscribe if you're new comment down below what I should do next and like this video peace out